I hope I am not relying on that anywhere important. I do hope I'm not relying on that anywhere important. I don't think I am. Uh, anyway, so Immortal, you missed me showing my one gigawatt natural gas build. Natural gas combustion mixture. This is this is it. Of course, this can only be done when you have coal as a resource in this form. But I I mean, how you get the coke doesn't really matter. As long as you're powering it with solar panels. The, the only difference between a normal raw coal into coke versus this here is just the amount of solar panels. It's still going to need the same amount of uh, stuffs. In this case, it's 18 wells doing natural gas into 30. Yes, hope. I hope I'm not doing it anywhere important. Uh, and this will produce a gigawatt. Why do I need the solar panels? Uh, so the purpose of the solar panels is to prevent positive feedback loops. Yes, voiding. Voiding the steam. Absolutely a voiding design. I am not looping back the water. You couldn't pay me to loop back the water on this. Uh, so yeah, why, why do I need the solar panels? It's to prevent a positive feedback loop. Because if I were to need more power than I produce, I would start producing less oil and less coke to feed this. Less, less natural gas and less coke to feed what's powering the thing. And it, it works on a percentage basis. So if I ever if I ever need, say, one and a half gigawatt, and I can only produce 1.4 gigawatts, this would start to slow down, which means this would start to slow down, which means I would be producing less power, which would slow this down even more, which would slow this down even more, which would further reduce the amount of power being produced until it goes down to zero. <laughs> until it goes all the way down to zero. So this exists because this will never, this will never run out of power. So with this, I will always be producing this at 100% output, and I will always be producing producing this at 100% output, so my mach my combustion turbines will always operate at 100% output, even if the base needs more than what can be currently produced. Ask me how I know <laughs> about this. How, how I am so... Uh, Paranoid and overproduce on these. I, uh, I, I, I may or may not have had issue. These, the, this may or may not have been an issue at some point in my past. That's eight. Thirteen sounds good. And then just copy paste like the whole thing. Overlap the doohickeys.
So the uh, 26 here, uh, as I had said, technically produces a little more than a full throughput pipe. How much better was the fuel oil than the crude? Uh, so the fuel oil is going to, I think, 800 kilowatts. Crude is currently 82.5, and it's two units of crude to one unit fuel oil. So it, get, it gets a pretty massive boost by doing this inherently. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm thinking, if my memory is correct, that this is going to 800 kilowatts. That's what I've done my math for, okay? I have, I have put it down to... Uh, I have done my math for 800 kilowatts for how much I need to fuel this. This. Beautiful setup. I haven't looked at the fuel... The combustion mixture yet. That's that's what I will eventually need to do. I need to look at the uh, the fuel mixture because I'm thinking that the fuel mixture is going to be better use of fuel oil. I just am doing this now so that I don't have to completely destroy all of this stuff that I have already built. Also, I just really, 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 really don't want to do uh, anything, but anything involving uh, circuit conditions with power. That sounds like a fantastic recipe for disaster. That, that sounds like disaster movie level stuff there. Uh, I will not be doing that. I will absolutely not be doing that. Also, apparently every single one of these has the thingy out. That doesn't need to be there. Oops. Ah, because it was, it was hiding. Hiding behind the building sprites. All right, little thing. Okay, so this is going to have another input. Remember what I said about uh, needing a bit more than 19? All right, this is 19. <laughs> Duh. I need, to, I need to even split it off of this. Oh, boy. Um, can I count to 12? I can. That is very fortunate. Uh, actually, it would be better if I did it like this. There we go. So, pipe logistics. Far more complicated than I would ever even attempt to try to learn. Uh... My own experience tells me that 1,200 is the limit on pipes. 1,200 units of fluid per second is effectively a good, uh, a good, uh, uh, I know they're not receiving oil. I know, I know, I know that these aren't. Uh, that's because I still need to add additional input. That's what this output is going to be for, is the, uh, is the crude oil from here. Uh, I needed to uh, set this up in such a way that I'm sending the oil here. Uh, but yeah, in my personal experience, 1.2k 
has been the limit for pipes without having to resort to uh, pump shenaniganry. And and be and believe me, like to try to force more than twelve hundred units through a pipe requires massive amounts of pump shenaniganry for it to be consistent. So I need seven more thingies of crude oil. A whole seven, I guess over there to my right. That is a walk. Where is my vehicle? I will also put down uh, large power poles while I'm at it. Uh-oh. The vehicle has run out of meat. Excuse me. I shift-clicked and it didn't put the meat in the thingy. Hmm. Here, make sure that you are always topped off. Die, rock. By the way, uh, so the other day, I, uh, do I even need this line? Yes, I do. Interesting. Right. That was an interesting decision. Uh, so the other day, remember, I uh, I sort of had a quite close encounter with a train, with a locomotive. Y you may remember the other day I had a, a pretty close encounter with a locomotive. Um, I still don't know what happened there. I looked at the video. I clearly got hit by that train with with the crawdad sitting there but the health bars didn't even move neither the locomotive nor the crawdad health bar dipped but the train stopped from hitting me like what <laughs> So, is the crawdad immune to damage? The crawdad is immune to damage. It's immune to impact. To impact damage. Like, I'm pretty sure that the game has... There is a difference between... Impact forms of damage and, like, biter attacks. There's damage via collision, and then there's damage via... That the, that the biters will perform. With, with their attacks. So, even if biters can hurt the crawdads... I think that this crawdad has collision immunity. Well, that's what I was thinking of perhaps doing, is uh, grabbing a, a different crawdad, grabbing a, a different crawdad and parking it on a train track just to see what happens. The train didn't take any damage either, which is odd. I only need seven, so we'll do this uh, this away. So yeah, I have a I have a sneaky suspicion that the crawdads are actually immune to collision. 
with trains. With with anything, and I think that has to do with uh, the uh, the the rock mechanic. I think the intention was to make it immune to being hurt by rocks, and as it turns out, that also makes it immune to trains. But we shall find out shortly, shall, won't we? That is probably going to be like the first thing I do. Once I get this set up properly, is try to intentionally kill a crawdad by a train collision. Can't believe I'm actually saying that, slash planning on actually doing that. Uh, I'll just do this here on this uh, input. I should use pumps to force things to be one way here just to make sure I don't run into any problems. Pumps! You are needed. that. Power. 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 Excuse me. You. 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 Huzzah! Stuff things. Uh, I, th I think that's all good now. We have a we have a thingy full of fuel oil, uh, and I need two. I'm going to be doing this. I need to do it here as well. Crawdad, I need you. Uh, so remember when I pulled extra stuff and put it in the crawdad? Yeah, this is why. Oops. Not that button. That button. They are out of fuel and their pipes are clean. The pipes are clean. Yay. Alright, so I can just split one left and split one right, and we'll be good. Copy and paste. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Yes, give me. Give me more power. More power! Uh, it's not pushed yet. Fuel oil has been nerfed. It has not gone live yet. And I have... Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, I have planned accordingly. I, I have planned accordingly on the new fuel value. If I was planning this at the 1.5, this would be half this size on the uh, fuel oil production. Yes, it is much it is much better than crude directly and natural gas directly uh, into the oil burners and is the easiest to produce of the higher fuel value stuff 
because it's two to one crude to fuel oil. It is the quote unquote easiest. Oh, that would that would help. Yeah, that that would help. Hey, there we go. There we go. Now they're moving. It lives. And only needs about a little over 10 megawatts, so I'm pretty sure I'm good with this. I'm pretty sure this is a little overkill. All right, there we go. So, theoretically, that's a that's a very loaded word, but theoretically, uh, the base can now support 2.4 gigawatts. 2.4 is the new max. Plus 60 for the old original coal burning setup the coal vanilla burner setup this one the uh the the very vanilla standard build so yay just, you know, point of comparison here, we've got, we've got 26 extractors going into this mess. This is, this is all, all this for one gigawatt, right? All this, all this for one gigawatt versus this for one gigawatt so this combustion mix natural gas with the mark ii combustion turbines one gigawatt versus all of this with the oil burner all of this with the oil burner using what will be the nerfed fuel values for the same amount of power which would you prefer in your builds over time? Something like this or something like this? I'm going to go with something like this, even if doing the full rock hole into coke setup with more solar panels. So that's, that's a good visual comparison, gigawatt for gigawatt, between the new combustion mix natural gas versus doing the oil burning of fuel oil and you can even compare it i mean previously the, the natural gas was just was this still into all of all of this all of this regardless is the the gigawatt here so that versus and what is feeding it. I think we're going to be doing those combustion turbines in the future. Anyway, we have an experiment to run. We have a bit of an experiment to run with our glorious crawdads. So, Crawdaddio, I'm not going to do the experiment with this particular Crawdad because it's got things inside of it. Auto save. Do your auto saving. We 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 have to do this experiment, right? Like this is this is not optional at this point. This has to happen. I need to know. I need to know. Inquiring minds need to know. 
does the crawdad actually take impact damage from trains? Or is it immune? I think it's immune. I do believe that the crawdad is immune. I didn't reverse this! Note to self. Oh, so it is immune to standard fighter damage, but not the spitter damage. Interesting. In interesting choice. So I have a... I have a, a couple of spare crawdads. Just, uh, just, a, just a few spare crawdads. Hanging out. You know, a, a few. What's a good spot to test this? Probably. Probably right there. That's... Aha! No damage. None. No damage. Full speed train. No damage from a full-speed train. Smacking it. They're... They're immune to getting hit by trains. And what's... What's also interesting... Is the train also... Doesn't take any damage. Now we know... Now we know that uh yeah, they nullified each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did I show this to the public? Uh because it sort of already got shown to the public. If you want to get technical. <coughs> Ow. Mm. Sharpness. Sudden. Mm. Sudden sharpness. If you want to get technical about it, uh, I sort of already showed it in the last stream when I got hit by a train and nothing happened. Last stream, I got hit by a train, and nothing happened, and I was like, what the hell just happened? Why am I not dead? Those need to go in their proper location. And you need to be free. So, that's interesting news. Um, yes, reverse me. I will reverse you. Uh, in order to do so, I actually need to be holding a, uh, a yellow belt here, so let us do that. I will uh, not be upgrading this belt to red. That sounds like a terrible idea. Waste of resources. What is even using the Duralumen? Does anything even use the Duralumen that isn't being made in my mall already? Because I have a sneaking suspicion the only things using the Duralumen are things being made in my mall already. So, in reality, all I need to do is that.
Oh, no, there's, there's a thing right there. There. Right, green science. So that'll be why. That'll be what I need to do. Come on, you. Place the stuff. There you go. Okay. That, uh... That will work. I, I mean, I don't really need to clear that, but... Yeah. Huzzah. Stuff things. Make actual use of my... Train network. For this. Because uh, we'll get the, uh... The full throughput belt. <laughs> you know, just the, the casual full throughput belt. On the Duralumin. I think I think I'm gonna have sufficient Duralumin for green science, folks. <laughs> Oops. I think I'm gonna have enough for uh for for these. But for, for, for these. Speaking of these. Um. I think I'm going to upgrade. Hello, Ave. Hello, Ave. We have determined that crawdads are immune to damage from locomotives. We have made this determination and proved it. Crawdads will not take damage from from trains at full speed. They are immune. The train also will not be damaged by hitting the crawdad. There's my upgrade. Do you do you like do you like my upgrade? That's my upgrade. Hey, we we upgraded the thing. The thing it it has been upgraded. No. Whoops. It can scale! It can scale again! Hey, it's... it's... beautiful and glorious. And also in need of medium power poles rather than the, all these stupid smalls. I did I did the thing, right? <laughs> is it is it that simple? It is not that simple. Overall, I've just done awful things, didn't I? 0. 0.641. Okay, that's fine. Uh rubber's fine. Both both of these should be fine. Or 0. 0.96 at th times 3. Yeah, we've got we've got enough, right? <laughs> we've got We've got su sufficient quantities to do this. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this is pretty safe. So we're we're getting a few more lab instruments now. Just uh by the way, got a got a few more of these lab instruments going. Point six four, point six four should should work. Should be functional. Just random. <laughs> random scaling of things.